So sometime uh, two years ago, I believe it was two years ago, or uh, early last year, I uh, I was driving. Uh, I was on Lubwe Express Way here in Abuja. Those who live in Abuja will know the road I'm talking about. So it's an express way. So I was driving uh, towards the uh, airport, um, Abuja International Airport. Uh, in my six or seven VC phase two, which is uh, known as uh, Z9. So, uh, I was kind of having fun, you know, uh, but not necessarily like speeding like hell. Like hell. I wasn't like in my usual fun drive. So, um, I got close to uh, this vehicle, not this color anyway, but uh, I think that one was blue, blue color. You know, I was basically was just overtaking cars. So uh, I was getting close to this car to overtake, you know. So it appears he also, uh, the driver also wanted to overtake another vehicle. So I had to wait behind him because that was the only space. Other cars were on the other. It was, is it three lanes or four lanes? So the other lanes were occupied. Other cars were driving slowly. So the only speed, the, it was only the speed lanes that, uh, but you had space. there was space, so but he needed to overtake as well. So I was following him so that as soon as he overtake the car in front, uh, he could, uh, you know, switch back to the low speed lane. So suddenly, as he was doing that, probably he now felt uh, threatened. Not knocking, not threatened. He now felt uh, because he was a man. After I would explain later, the person now felt that oh. How dare you put your car overtake uh, me or try, you know? So suddenly, um, it was obvious the car was automatic. So suddenly, I saw, um, as he was about overtaking that car, and I saw smoke on the two exhaust pipe. I think it was two pipe, yeah, that the car had. So smoke came, uh, popped out, which is usually. Uh, on automatic cars, be observant. When, once uh, uh, the, uh, there's a downshift, if the person driving automatic press the throttle to the floor and hold it there, one of the things you will tell if you are following the car from behind, you will see some smoke. Not necessarily black smoke, it could be a little bit whitey smoke or something. You know, it's usually a sign that uh, the person is holding the throttle to the floor. There's a quick uh, Acceleration going on. So it was like, uh, no, you, I, won't, I won't let you to overtake me. So even when, <laughs> so one of us was, I should both, both of us not pass those vehicles. So there was, I could tell that he was not pushing hard. Remember, I was the one that was on speed and came uh, close to the, this vehicle, which is um, E class, uh, pre first lift, W212. Uh, I was produced in uh, 2008 to around, I don't know, 2012 or so. So eventually it was received, there, but it was exactly this period, first lift. So obviously I was on a higher speed to overtake the car, then suddenly it refused and now downshifted and moved away. So I was like, ah, so let's have some fun. What mistake I made, I didn't look on the patch, you know. So what I did was, I dropped it down. I think then, because it's six-speed manual. So when I was waiting behind him to overtake, so I've already upshifted to, downshifted to gear five from six. So when I did that, I started to give me space. You know, started, you know, dusting. In other words, I was not falling behind. So I moved it from five to four. I didn't even press the throttle down, like, to halfway. I was probably like halfway to the floor, but not to the floor. Just put it on gear four. Hold it there. As he was doing those things, in both of us, we are, we, we, it was obvious that <laughs> we were basically like racing. So he didn't want me to pass, overtake him. I could see he was just pushing every place he has, he would put so that he doesn't slow down for me to overtake. I just kept coming. I left it on four. Till I got very close to his tail, I put it on five. Boom. He kept. I, in fact, I don't know that I even let her enter gear six. I can't remember. I just 
keep pushing ahead. What will not happen was, you know, because uh, some the, the road sometimes can be busy. You get the point. Uh, the road will be a little bit uh, crowded. You know, cars will be everywhere, so it won't really get space. So I will slow down. He will immediately, you could see, he will not come with speed. He come, he will even slow down, trying to overtake me without opportunity so that uh, he won't allow me again to pass him. Sometimes he will do that. But once the road clears again, I'll drive shift again for hold it there. By the time I get to five, maybe eventually I'll probably I did uh, enter gear seat. But my point is, I, I dusted this car. I was even me. I was surprised. This is a six or seven V6 manner, yes. But you know, generally it's expected that this kind of car, this E class, which is not an old vehicle, supposed to have a recent engine, more powerful and everything. That I should even I, I that that it did not make sense that I could compete and win in this case. So what happened was by the time I, I was as I was getting close to my destination before the airport, so I now reduced speed, put my signal right to the right. Uh, you know, he was on speed too, so he now came and blew on Papa, you know, as a sign of yeah, it was a fun drive. You know, both of us we enjoyed it. it. Didn't matter who won or not, but you could tell, you know, both big push cars. He probably was surprised too. How could a six or seven over, you know, became, became faster than E class? So the only thing I will, I will say here is this: Yes, I was impressed. He, even him, because he was a man. By the time I took him, I saw he was a man. He was looking at me. I was looking at him. So what a mistake! Like I said, I didn't look at the badge. Could be two fifty. It could be two hundred. It could be three fifty. Uh, I, most likely it was not E400, uh, because that one will have more power, much more power than mine, you know. Uh, but the point is, even at that, it was expected. The only problem I will, the only, let's assume it was 200, 250, but in Nigeria they hardly buy such, uh, E class. They usually buy it at 350 upward or 300, E300, 350. So if it was those, uh, four cylinders, because that's where I would say, um, I will I will advise anybody to buy because uh, those four cylinder ones they were all they all to be charged. Uh, uh, I think between one eighty horsepower to two hundred and uh, two hundred and five or two hundred and eight horsepower. Those four cylinder to be charged. Come on, look at how huge this car is. I mean, let me show you guys another picture. The both the front. So this is uh, this is exactly what the tail looks like. So this is the front end. I mean, this is a huge car, you know. Um, so I don't know what did they expect. Uh, I, funny thing, one of the engines is one point eight, you know. That one has that one eighty or ten about but how do you expect? But I wouldn't know. Like I said, since the mistake I made for my own part, did not look at the badge. Maybe there was no because, like I said, it wasn't like I was out to 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 race with the car or something. I just wanted to overtake and keep going. I wasn't interested in the car until you know, I could, you know wanted me to to okay, guy, I'm ready for you. Let's let's trash it out, you know. So. Uh, no, uh, see this to be charged thing. If you are to be charging a V6, okay, it makes sense. To be charging a V8, it makes sense. Then if you are to be charging a four cylinder, maybe 2.0, 2.2, 2.4, depending on the size of the car. But something like this, I mean, it makes no sense. So maybe it was a to be charged engine, those four cylinder engines, so that's why, uh, mine, or maybe it was. E300 or 350. Just I, I couldn't, or could be because mine was a manual. So that was, I mean, you see, when it comes to 60, that's see my observation. When it comes to five speed manual, you see, gear five, gear three is the sweetest. That's where you get the power. That's it. it will push you hard before four and five is just to keep moving. But this one that the sweet spot of manual transmission on a five speed manual is gear three. 
Then for the C speed is gear four. Trust, go and test it. I own these two in gearboxes, five speed, six speed. So I'm telling you, you know, I've tested all. So um, uh, maybe mine was because oh, I, it, that that was the day I knew that this engine, even though Pojo say it was uh, 211 horsepower, I don't know. Maybe it's actually 211 horsepower, but the way it moved that day. Because it was like I intentionally I was like, let's see this guy. I know you are Benz, but let's trash it out. As in I gapped this car, as in not gapped, as in gave him this task. I had to, not that I faded completely, but man, as in he couldn't. He was doing everything. He couldn't get close to me. As in like two poles aside, you know, apart from each other. It's honestly it's good to have a uh, powerful engine. Uh, you know, some say it's very uh, irresponsible to do all those kind of things. Trust me, there are sometimes you'll be like to hell with the fuel, red cars on fuel. I mean, these are these two cars are able cars. Yeah, performance. The suspensions are geared for performance. The steering wheel are geared for performance. So the idea of I uh, ask them, you know, people shout out those. Uh, Go and find a better car. So you understand? Not say accident cannot happen even on this one. But I'm saying most times, give a good drive by car. You have to enjoy yourself. And uh, okay, so um, so because of that, I kind of also you know appreciate it because this car I like it. You know the look makes sense. Front and the rear end. The first center model is there, but you know kind of like this one as well. But one of the reasons why I like this is because it has a coupe version. You know, it does. Let me show you. You see, that's one of the problem I have with. Uh, anyway, I'll do a separate video of that. It has a coupe. You know, E class. It has a coupe. Uh, you might say the look might not make sense. I think for the coupe, the 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 facilitated model front, the front end looks better than the uh, play facelift. So this is the rear view of the coupe. You know, unfortunately, no manual. Even if they, uh, no, I don't think they have manual on the coupe. Uh, the four cylinder, the only manual, no, for the saloon, the only manual you get on the saloon is the four cylinder, the turbocharged ones that produce. Uh, is it 180 years power? Come on, even, even though, even if you put seven speed mana there, you won't really enjoy it that much. I'm just considering the look at how huge. I didn't even check the weight of the car, but come on, this is a big car. So, um, those uh, 200, even 200 horsepower, say, won't make more sense on a car like this. It needs something close to 300, over 300. Like those E400 uh, should be close to 330 horsepower or so. Actually, V6 engine, not even V8, E400. I don't know whether they have to be charged or I don't know. So I just like to point it out to share, you know, that's you know, one of the reasons why I love my sister seven. He was able to beat this car. So same thing happened. Uh, there was a video I did. I don't know if you guys watched that day. I traveled the last trip I did with my or last journey I did with my sister seven when I traveled to Kaduna. I came back, I did a video of that. I went to inspect the 505. Um, on my way back, uh, so when I got to Jerry, so I took that uh, Jerry uh, Buari as is. So um, in, I didn't know that that would have been tired, as you can close your eye and drive. I mean, you can see any. Crazy speed. I'm talking about if you want to do 300 kilometers per hour on that road, just carry on. On the going, the road was not that, it was a little bit rough, but coming back, I didn't know until I entered it. And so, but of course, we passed through the town, then there's a gate to the express. So there was this, um, so I was driving on the rough part of the road, but while I was in town, there was this, uh, uh, Toyota Highlander. This is, that's their last production. So I think he has a, either 3.0 or 3.3 liter V6 engine because it was clearly leading behind it. V6. So he came with force, boom, 
Of course, it was um, it was a court, uh, an SUV, so he didn't care about the rough road. So I will, I saw that. In fact, I was even at S class before me, S class, Mercedes uh, S class before me. So uh, that one didn't even care about speed at all. So even though me too, I reduced speed until both of us drove out of the rough road. Then I now come down, shift and boom. I left the S class behind. But I, like I said, the S class, I don't think he was even interested in driving, you know, having fun on that one. Then I just kept pushing. Before, I, I, like I said, I'm not forgetting about the Highlander. Until, and I, as I was getting close, getting close, and I saw the guy was pushing. I could tell he was pushing. One thing about six speed, all you need is just that shift. So I got close, I was just on six speed, as I was getting close, getting close, I could see that, you know, when somebody doesn't want you to uh, feel kind of threatened that, oh, this car coming behind wants to overtake me. And to me, I don't want to, uh, I don't want that to happen. It will be like a defeat. You see, probably the person who maybe push the car harder as you are coming close, I was like, eh. I moved it from six, either to either I put it on five or four. I forgot it. Held it there. I did not. I held it there till I overtook the car. By the time, so what I was not doing was because it was the first time I was driving on the road after it was fixed. So the road will get to a point that will be more than five kilometers straight, smooth. I will go faster. To the point that the car, you won't see me again. I would drive very far. My car would go far. I don't want to tell you the speed I was doing. The figures. Go far. But then once I start to get to, maybe if I'm climbing a hill, I start getting close to the end of that hill, I will reduce. Some people can be so stupid. Uh, they, because they want to win a race or win this thing, they, they will enter that. Because if I'm not seeing my front, you know, as you're getting closer here, you are not seeing, so before you start climbing, I don't see anything. So you only will keep pushing unless you know that road. So in my case, I didn't know the road. So once I start getting close to the end of the hill, I will reduce my speed until I get to that hill and start descending. Then I'll continue. Or that, I oh know, is a funny road. Or you drive for like five, ten kilometers straight or even more. Then, I think probably more than 10 kilometers on the East Street Road. Then, you get a point, maybe uh, on a hill or you need to, there's a curve. You know, so I'm not, I don't know what is on the other side. So I will reduce my speed drastically to the point that the gear, I may even drop down up to gear 3. Drop it down, reduce it. He, that then he will come, come, come forward with speed. We just, you see that he's pushing like, ah, okay, this is my time now to overtake this guy. You'll not see me again. By the time you get very close, almost close to my rear bumper, I press it a little bit hard again. Up oh, shit. That's all. Honestly, I, that, that, if not for anything, that was the, the only thing I enjoyed on that drive, on that journey. As soon as I came back, I was looking at this system. I was like, man, this car is a monster. As in, you need to see how I was pushing. For the thing, all these things I was doing, I did not go beyond halfway the throttle pedal. I didn't. Yeah, this car, you see how you see this video, I just going, going there with the sound, the engine sound. Man. And I said, uh, that Toyota uh, Highlander, the guy probably may, <laughs> may start to wonder if that car was worth it, whether to go and sell the car, because I embarrassed him. It was obvious that he was like, how dare you, I'm Toyota, you, uh, all the, uh, what do you call them, uh, all the Labo Pojo, uh, let me show you that I have a bigger engine. Probably his own was 3.3. But mine was even 2.9. Of course, it's almost automatic, you know. So, anyway, back to the E class. So, um, so it has a, uh, in case you're interested, for me, um, it makes sense. The coupe makes sense, actually. If let's assume I want to buy, uh, I think it's the coupe I'll go for. But the saloon kind of looks more handsome. 
I don't know. That's how I see. Who's more handsome? Uh, I don't. Especially for face. Maybe. Ah. Uh, uh, I can't remember. I can't even tell. It's just that I haven't been paying attention to the cook version. So maybe next time I'll be looking out for it. Uh, but you know, saloon is more common. Uh, the estate, not really here in Nigeria. It's mostly saloon that you see. Uh, so uh, saloon makes more sense. But um, like I said, I'm done with saloon cars. Unless maybe vintage car, but modern car, no, no, I'm done. So the cook makes sense. Uh, so, let's 